Hi, I'm Paul Matthew, and I want to invite you to the Promenade Ballroom for our Back to School special, where learning to dance is taken a step at a time. Don't miss out. Call 346-6400. Eat healthy, homegrown fruits and vegetables. Visit the Perm Farmer's Market on Wednesdays and Fridays from 9 to 1 on Main Street next to the post office. Nadine's is blowing the lid off fashion and service. Nadine's has cutting-edge fashion from Tribal, Woolrich, Liz Claiborne, and more. Plus, Nadine's is your headquarters for Brighton jewelry and accessories. Nadine's in Perm. Why look just okay when you can look great? Advanced Massage of Perm. Contact Carrie Shank at 298-1400 or visit them online. Advanced Massage of Purim. Feel better today. Welcome to the Purim Show. I am here at Jean's The Right Plant Place in Purim, and I'm speaking with Jody Ramsey, who is co-owner of, of Jean's, and we are going to talk about um, what it's not too late to do yet this year and how to prepare for spring. So mm -hmm. welcome, Jody. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having us. You have spring color in mind mm -hmm. here in you know late August in in the fall so mm -hmm. so talk about spring color well now is a really good time to plant things that you want to bloom in the spring so peonies irises those types of things um, we have quite a few varieties of those uh, and then pretty shortly here right around Labor Day um, we'll get lots of different varieties of bulbs that will flower oh. in the spring so tulips daffodils um, allium, which is the big, big ball that's on a stick. We have some of those planted around the lot. Um, Narcissus, a bunch of different kinds of those. So, and we have some unique varieties, I think, different colors, different heights, um, different blooming times. You know, we don't carry a lot of them that are real early blooming because they just don't come up that early in this climate. But oh, we have sure. more of the mid and late season tulips. So, uh, usually that week after Labor Day is when we get those in. So how, how are hydrangeas? Uh, I, the hydrangeas are absolutely beautiful that you have here. Um, are those a, a plant or a bulb or how do those work? The hydrangeas are shrubs, so okay. they come back, uh, most of them come back from the old uh, root, you know, so you plant it this year. Uh, a lot of them will come back, even if you cut it all the way down to the ground, it'll come back from the root and grow new wood the next year. Okay. There are some varieties that will come back from both old and new. So like for example the Annabelle hydrangeas, the big white ones we have planted over in the corner there. Um, every few years we cut them all the way to the ground really? and they come back nice and full. Hard other years, to do, hard to do. Right. And but other years we just cut them back part way and then they come back uh, from the base too. So. Yeah, one of the neat things about jeans is that you can just walk around and you have so many um, permanent plantings that you can see what's going to be blooming, what's going to look good in your mm -hmm. specific location, or maybe you've got a problem area or something, and, and you can you can see all those. I, I noticed the, um, you know, even the, the ornamental grasses that you have. You have uh, some um, that are annuals and some that are perennials as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a few varieties that we carry that are just annuals, and most of those are used in containers. Oh. You know, that type of thing. But, um, yeah, we have several varieties that are perennial, and they are hardy to this area. So, And they're something that you can leave up over the winter. You know, things like sedums and grasses, some taller stuff with um, the flower heads still on there. You might want to leave those on so that you have some winter interest. You know, oh, something to look at besides just the snow. The snow, <laughs> and <laughs> it's coming. Which we all get tired of. Yes, at the end of the winter. yes, we do. The, um, the the spring color, then the bulbs. You said you're having those coming in after Labor Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, I guess I didn't realize. I thought that was something that you had to get out and do in the spring. So there really is a lot that you can do. Mm -hmm. Right, and the right. fall, you know, fall's a really nice time to plant. It's cooler, it's not so stressful for some things like it is when it's 90 degrees in the middle of the summer. Um, as you get closer to the end of the growing season, though, um, you have to make sure you get things in before the ground is frozen. And, you know, you can easily plant uh, through September, sometimes even in October, perennial shrubs, bulbs, those types of things. One thing that does help, though, is... Um, a product called Root and Grow. Okay. We actually soak all our perennials in that in the spring before we pot them. It's a liquid concentrate. You mix it with water, and it really makes a huge difference in how quickly the roots grow. 
And that's the key in the fall, is to get enough root mass uh, under the soil so that they will survive the winter. Okay, and is that something that uh, you can just apply even to things that you may have planted in the in, in midsummer, or you can, can yeah, you, you can apply water. it already after it's planted, or do you, is yep. it best to do it when you're putting it in? Um, it's probably easiest for you to do it when you put them in because you can just soak them in before you actually put it in the in the hole. But you can water in the existing plants with it. You know, water two or three times even. Uh, with that concentrate and that that should do wonders for the plant. Well we're going to take a short break and we're going to come back and we're going to talk about uh, uh, about some of the hosta and the different plants that you can do for for color all year mm -hmm. um, during the growing season but before we take a break can you just give a shout out now to about your hours? Uh, in August we're open 10 to 5 daily. Uh, in September our hours change to 10 to 4 Monday through Saturday and noon to four on Sundays. Okay. And we are open on Labor Day, um, 10 to two. Very good. Okay, um, stick with us. We're gonna come back and talk about even more color from Jean's The Right Plant Place. Hi, I'm Jody, And I'm Julie, and we're the owners of Jean's The Right Plant Place in Purim. Our specialty is perennials. We have more than 1,200 varieties, more than anyone around. When you're making a purchase requiring financing, Consider Heart of the Lakes Credit Union in Perham and New York Mills. They offer low rates and speedy processing on your auto loans. Check with Heart of the Lakes Credit Union before your next purchase. With two locations in Burgess and Perham, make the right call. Call Hansen's, the most trusted name in plumbing and heating. Ghost Runner Air and Service. Why waste your time on the small things? As an Arvig Communication Systems customer, you live in the home of the future. Where you live, digital home phone technology keeps you connected in a whole new way. You can talk with friends and family across town or across the country. A complete set of digital calling features, superior call quality, reliability, and support make for a great value. Tomorrow is calling. Welcome to the home of the future. Switch to a better home phone service. Call ACS today. Welcome back to the Perm Show. I'm speaking with Jody Ramsey here at Jean's The Right Plant Place, and we're talking about uh, what you can do now for color in the spring. And uh, it's not too late to be thinking about your gardening. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the biggest selection of hosta that I have ever seen. And it's so cool to be able to come up and look at I mean, because you walk by them and you go, oh, hosta's hosta. But, you know, you come here and you see all the different varieties, mm -hmm. even different colored flowers. And um, how many varieties do you have? We have over around 300 varieties. There are thousands and thousands of hostas out there uh, on the market. We have about 300. And we separate them out by color. So we have all the blues together, the greens and the golds, and then the variegateds. Um, and then within those tables, they're alphabetical order. So... If people are looking for a specific hosta, it should be pretty easy for them to find. Well, if, if some of the leaves are, the leaves don't look the same size to me. Mm -hmm. So some of them look very, very small and, and dainty, and some mm -hmm. of them are just, you know, big honker, <laughs> elephant deer kind of, mm -hmm. of leaves. Is that just because here at the, in, in the garden here, that they're different ages, or? Uh, in some cases, but most often it's the actual size that the plant will be. Hostas range from miniatures, which are only six inches tall or less, and some of them only get to be maybe a few inches wide, and that's the whole mature size, to clumps that are three feet tall and six feet wide. You know, there's a huge variation. Wow. So, Yeah, so that's important to know. I mean, mm -hmm. when you admire somebody's hosta and then you come to some place like this, and you see so many choices, mm -hmm. um, it's a good idea to maybe ask one of your staff uh, right. to, you know, actually help you mm -hmm. choose something and really find out what it is that you're looking for and what you want to, the space you mm -hmm. want to fill. Right, and our staff's all, you know, they're very knowledgeable about the different varieties, and if you say, I want a small hosta, they can, uh, you know, steer you to some certain ones to pick from, and if you want something that's really large, same same deal. So well, and mm -hmm. and uh, so this is color year, you know, the whole growing season. Right. Um, 
the coral bells. I mm -hmm. notice you have a huge variety of coral bells mm -hmm. as well. And if, if you don't know what those are, come on in and take a look because they're absolutely beautiful and come in a variety of colors. They almost mm -hmm. remind me of uh, the different varieties of coleus. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, the there's, there's green leaves, there's burgundy, um, gold leaves. You know, there's a, a lot of variety. Some of them kind of change color throughout the season. Oh, really? So you'll get some that'll start out more green and maybe turn a little golder and then by the fall they're more orange. You know, so that's kind of interesting. And they all yeah. flower, you know, some of them, um, Hummingbirds like the flowers on coral bells, you know, so there's a lot of variation there. Um, now on the other side of the, of the, uh, the, what do you call that? The retail area. The gift shop. Have, gift mm -hmm. shop, yeah. Uh, we have, there's the uh, ornamental grasses and heliopsis and senna and, and all manner varieties of things. I also noticed some native Minnesota mm -hmm. plants like cornflowers over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've, we've carried several different native plants. People, especially on lakes, uh, like to plant some of the native things rather than the cultivated varieties. So, you know, the coneflowers, the, the liatris, the one that has a big purple spike, um, that's a native plant. Some, some of the grasses are natives. Um, and, and there's another variety of things too. So if you're looking for native plants, we can steer you that direction as well. Well, that's great. And, and you know, the different uh, root. You already mentioned the, the, you know, wanting to get the good roots established, but that mm -hmm. also helps with erosion on a side hill. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, what, what is the number uh, to call Jody if somebody has questions about, again, your hours or mm -hmm. your website? Or well, our phone number is 218-346-4051. Uh, our website is just www.rightplantplace.com. And we post our hours on there. We post links to our list of perennials, uh, special events, uh, lots of different things are, are on the website there. And we have email as well, rightplantplace at yahoo.com. And this street that runs right in front of the gift shop and the, and the whole bunch of stuff you got here, mm -hmm. what street is this out here? Well, it's Highway 78, which turns into 3rd Avenue <clears throat> southeast. So we're just down the block from the high school. Okay. Um, very easy to find. Yeah, well, very good. Thanks so much for being with us again. And Thank you. all you folks out there, you know, come on in and, and it's not too early or too late to be thinking about spring. So mm -hmm. come in and check out Jean's The Right Plant Place in Purim.